bring people back, like Napoleon Hill, his favorite author, then he would know how the vehicle to put the momentum in place so he could preserve his own legacy. And that's what this is all about. We're preserving legacies, we're bringing back legacies, and we're just sharing the ideas and the thoughts and the insights from the greatest minds who've ever lived or who currently live and who will live in the future so that future generations can have access to this information so they don't have to go through. Welcome to the Miracle Plant Podcast, the show that inspires, promotes, and gives you a daily dose of inspiration from the people who have used cannabis to change their lives in extraordinary ways. Here's your host, Justin Benton. Welcome back to the Miracle Plant Podcast, where we discuss this miracle plant with so many names and how it's helping people in so many extraordinary ways. Well, hi, I'm Justin Benton, the host of the Miracle Plant Podcast. Thanks for tuning in. Today, we're going to take a little walk down the, the road of what's been going on with Justin and Russell. And so when I'm recording this, I'm getting ready to hop on a jet airplane and fly across the country to... Go meet with good old friend of mine, Jeffrey Gittimer, the king of sales. And he's got an incredible library with an amazing amount of first edition signed books and stories of personal development and sales and artifacts and all kinds of great things. And so Russell and I are going to fly out to Charlotte, North Carolina and check everything out and see uh, if and what we're going to add to the library that we've been building out in Boise, Idaho. And uh, it's so exciting to check all these things out. And the crazy story is, so when I was, and Jeffrey's been a mentor of mine uh, ever since the Little Red Book of Sales came out, you know, 10 or 15 years ago, uh, which is the number one selling sales book of all time. I believe it's over 5 million copies sold. And uh, and when uh, March of 2020 hit, uh, Jeffrey started going live on Facebook and I was like, whoa, just Jeffrey Gittimer. This is crazy. And so then we struck up a friendship because he went live every day for like 500 days starting back in March of 2020. And uh, we became really close friends and I joined a mastermind with him and Joe Soto. And, uh, you know, and here's the crazy thing. So I was out there at his house and I've seen his library and it's really, really cool. And um, I was like, hey, you know, this Russell Brunson over here awesome dude. He loves, you know, old books. And so I said, I want to send him a book. Uh, you know, that's a cool old book. I said, I know you've got all the cool, a lot of cool, you know, old books. What do you think? And Jeffrey's like, yes, I got the perfect one for it. I go, cool. I'll even pay for it. He's like, nope, don't worry about it. And so he sent me the book and then he put a little uh, signature in his little baseball card uh, you know, business card. And then I put a little something in there and I sent it off to Russell. This was like two years ago. And basically I knew that those two needed to connect. And so Russell got the book and fast forward to now I'm hopping on a jet airplane to go connect Russell and Jeffrey. Uh, and so they can look at all these amazing books as I've partnered with Russell and the secrets of success, which is building the library, the event center, the museum, really in Boise, Idaho. And so it's just crazy how life works and how things are just, you know, can totally go full circle. So that's what I'm doing right now. Um, we have summertime here in 2023 and, and, um, the wife and the family, my four kids, um, uh, Molly's dad's from Denmark and was born there and very, very proud Danish man. And anytime there's anything that's, you know, Danish, like on TV or something, he'll like say it. And in fact, I'm wearing a sweatshirt right now that has a trademark for Legos, which is something that the Danes uh, invented. And so we're going to be flying over there for, um, well, I'm going to be there for five days doing all the fun things. And then I need to fly back from Denmark because on June 23rd, we are having a really cool VIP ceremony uh, out in Boise, Idaho, uh, for the groundbreaking of the library, event center, museum, the Atlas uh, event center is what it's going to be called. And so uh, that's going to be really exciting. So lots of lots of long flights for me in the future. But hey, uh, what a blessing it is that we have jet airplanes that can fly us all over the world uh, for us to be with our family and do the things that we've been called to do to have the biggest impact 
Uh, and this library truly is that. I mean, we're, you know, that's why we're meeting with Jeffrey uh, and his library. He's, he's, he spent over 40, 50 years collecting these incredible books from these incredible minds. And what we're doing with the library is that we are preserving legacies and we're bringing back legacies. You know, for those of that have been following the journey with Napoleon Hill, you know, we, we want to preserve and bring back Napoleon's teachings. And we've, you know, worked with Don Green, the president of the Napoleon Hill Foundation. He's been so wonderful and sent us so many cool things, magazines and manuscripts and unpublished manuscripts and just the coolest things ever is in pictures. <laughs> I mean, it's just nuts. And uh, uh, Don Green will be out there with us. Uh, in Boise on June 23rd for the groundbreaking ceremony. There's going to be a golden shovel, I'm sure. And for those of you in sales, <laughs> yeah, it's got a different meaning, but I plan on bringing one of those back if I can get it in my, uh, you know, uh, checked in or carry on luggage. But anywho, so that's coming up and uh, it's just going to be so exciting. I mean, and what Russell's goal was, and this is his vision that he's had for three or four years in building this library. And then I came on board uh, a little over a year ago now and um, you know, was helping him, you know, procure and, and, and get the things that, that he needed, uh, and, and the relationships and just the things that just to get the ball rolling so we could really do this 20,000 square foot library event center museum, right? And so we got, uh, those, those balls have been rolling and now the ball has taken us out, uh, to, uh, Charlotte, North Carolina and Jeffrey. But the thing that I was saying was, but what, what the vision was with Russell is that he, when he completes this, uh, you know, this, this vehicle, this, this membership site, this museum, this technology with AI and, and 3D, you know, Apple just announced their uh, virtual reality or augmented reality, you know, that, that they're coming out with. Um, you know, we, we, the technology is here for us now to literally bring someone back who's no longer here with us. And, and, and put a vehicle in place that people can forever either visit the library or put on their goggles or even have a conversation uh, through artificial intelligence when you upload all of their books and all of their works so people can actually live on forever, preserve their legacies of people that are no longer with us. And the goal, the vision, the motivation for this came, and it was at uh, a, a mastermind meeting out at Pirate's Cove, and, and Russell was asked, why are you doing this? Like, because people are kind of worried. They're like, dude, you've bought like 15,000 books and spent millions of dollars. Like, you know, is someone going to tell Russell he might have a little problem here? <laughs> but, but the vision was if he could get all these great books and he could bring people back, like Napoleon Hill, his favorite author, then he would know how the vehicle to put the momentum in place so he could preserve his own legacy. And that's what this is all about. We're preserving legacies. We're bringing back legacies. And we're just sharing the ideas and the thoughts and the insights from the greatest minds who've ever lived or who currently live and who will live in the future so that future generations can have access to this information so they don't have to go through all the, you know, the, the ups and the downs and, you know, the, the not so good teachers and and, and get reprogrammed and, and, and unlearn all of the, the, the bad um, conditioning that we get, uh, especially here in the United States. You know, money doesn't grow on trees and all these kinds of things that, that, that limit our abundance. When, you, when you're a seven-year-old and you, someone asks you, like my son just, uh, he's going into fifth grade, Shay, and they put on his uh like getting ready for fifth grade they made this cool like uh luggage thing and asked him a bunch of questions and one of his questions was what do you want to be when you grow up and he put down he wants to be a marine biologist right and i had no idea i mean we go to the we live here on the ocean and we go to uh you know the uh um, aquariums and all that good stuff but that's the first i've ever heard of it and there's no limitation right he just wrote down what he wanted. And he said his favorite thing was, was penguins. We go to the Santa Barbara Zoo a lot, and there's a pretty cool penguin, um, you know, feature or what have you. And, and again, but, but over in, in life, um, you know, as you start to grow older, you know, he's just turned 11. Um, you know, people will tell you what you can't do or, or why you can't do this or, 
you know, and, and sometimes it's because of their own programming or sometimes they don't want you to get hurt or failure and things like that. And as all of us know, uh, who've had any type of success, uh, failure is a part of the process. I mean, you have to fail to learn. You can learn from your own mistakes or you can learn from others, which is what this library museum, the secrets of success is all about. Is, is teaching you so you can learn from others instead of having to learn on your own path. You know, I've been reading a lot on Napoleon Hill myself, you know, being so involved with the foundation. And one of the things that he's taught is that he doesn't believe you can truly have sustained success until you're at least 40 years old. And the reason why is it takes for you to have at least 40 loops around the sun for you to unlearn all of the negative baggage that you've learned in your life. And I also would add to that, that you also have to see a few patterns, make a few mistakes, pick yourself up, dust yourself off. And then when an opportunity arises, you see it for what it is. Or if something happens that doesn't quite feel right, you trust your instincts and you walk away. And that's one of my biggest things that I do for myself is that uh, it's like, I have to trust my instincts. I've been around the sun at least 40 times. I've seen enough patterns, I've seen enough templates, I've lived enough life, and I have to trust my instincts. And 99% of the time I do, but that 1% when I don't, or I get talked into it, or I, 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 you know, I kid myself, or whatever it is, and it happens, that's when I really get frustrated with myself, because I know better. And so that's what I would encourage all of you, to trust your instincts. And uh, you know, listen to the whispers, as my buddy Glenn Morshower from the series 24 says. And uh, those whispers, that intuition, uh, that sixth sense, as Napoleon Hill talks about in his Outwitting the Devil uh, book, um, is, is that intuition that we all need to listen to, the divine, the universe, God, higher power, however you define it. Um, and, and sometimes you need to go to a quiet place and close your eyes and put your hand over your heart and ask your heart the question. Because uh, your heart has the answers. It's the head, right, that screws everything up. Like our buddy Tony says, right, if you're in your head, you're dead. You know, get in your heart. Um, and, and the answers are all lying in there. So, again, I just wanted to give you guys an update. I've been doing a lot of fun, amazing things. Really grateful, really blessed. Love hanging out with Russell. Uh, Dan Usher and his team. Uh, Dan's the man when uh, he was a part of the Ocean 7, uh, the one we flew out to the Napoleon Hill Foundation uh, last October. He's the, uh, the head lead photographer, director of photography and uh, videography. Great guy. And uh, he'll be out there in Charlotte uh, with his crew uh, filming and doing TV shots and uh, all kinds of fun stuff uh, out there in Charlotte. And, of course, he'll be out there in Boise with, in June with Dawn and the Secrets of Success library launch, groundbreaking uh, in June. So... Again, I just wanted to pop on here and, and kind of give you a heads up for, uh, you know, what's been going on in my life. Um, a lot has been going on, and I'm just, like I said, just so grateful. Wanted to kind of give you an up to, uh, up to speed uh, update on what's been going on so you can understand. And if you want to join in or if you have questions or anything like that, uh, be sure to reach out to me. Uh, the easiest email for me is j. Benton, B-E-N-T-O-N, at 101cbd.org. Uh, and that's that good old miracle plant that we talk about here on the podcast all the time. And, and we do all kinds of amazing things as I meet these incredible people. We are talking with Vic Conant over at uh, uh, Nightingale Conant, who runs the show. And, and that's another library that uh, we're going to be uh, adding into the secretsofsuccess.com, uh, which you can check it out. Uh, when that comes around. So we're going to be able to have just the greatest minds from the 1850s all the way up to 2000. And then we got to go after Tony. And uh, he's, uh, Tony and, and Russell are good friends. And uh, that'll be the last piece of the puzzle. So then we'll have the entire personal development uh, library, um, you know, preserved and the legacies will live on forever. And so that'll be uh, super exciting. So Again, I'm just uh, grateful, and the reason I bring that up was Vic was under the weather, and uh, I was able to send him some of our Miracle Plant products, and uh, you know to help him get his immune system uh, boosted and, and super healthy. And uh, everywhere I go, I talk about the Miracle Plant uh, because it helps all of us, whether it's pain, stress, anxiety, uh, sleep issues, or something severe um, like it was with my son. 
then um, it's just so great to be able to have to educate people about this miracle plant on our way to reach a billion people by 2025 about the power of this miracle plant, especially in the raw form. So again, thanks for tuning in. Um, if you have any questions, hit me up. Uh, otherwise, I will see you in a video soon. I put up a, a really funny video. Um, Russell sent us all these watches for being inside the inner circle, you know, for a, a long period of time. And uh, for, I love the movie Glengarry Glen Ross. There's a scene with Alec Baldwin and super hilarious Al Pacino. And uh, you see this watch. So if, if you check out my Instagram, it's at the Justin Benton, or we're on I'm on Facebook too. And you'll see the funny video that we put together. Because uh, we were going to do like unboxing videos. But I was like, well, let's have some fun with it, right? Let's do a Glengarry Glen Ross. So go check that out at my Instagram and see what you think. So at the end of every Miracle Plant podcast, we say heal the world. Because that's the mission, right? Pay it forward for what this Miracle Plant did for me and my son and my family. And has done for thousands of families around the world. That it's a, a plant that can help with uh, our bodies find homeostasis or balance because it, it helps boost our endocannabinoid system inside of our bodies, which helps balance all of the other major nine systems in your body. So on the count of three, let's say heal the world. So those out there that are suffering needlessly can find this plant, can find this product, can find this podcast, have a listen, and have the, the, the answer to their prayers just like it was for mine. So on the count of three, let's say heal the world. Ready? One, two, three. Heal the world! Thanks for swinging by the Miracle Plant Podcast. Be sure to tune in next week. Rate, review, forward, pass this on. Be a part of the mission. Get the word out about this Miracle Plant. And uh, happy healing. Be a blessing, everybody. Thanks for listening to today's show. To check out more great cannabis podcasts, go to podconnects.com. Here's a preview of one of our other shows. Hey guys, Montel here, inviting you to check out my podcast, Let's Be Blunt with Montel, where we have candid conversations about everything cannabis. We have over 250 episodes in our library, and a new show drops every single Thursday. So be sure to subscribe, and if you like what you hear, make sure you leave us a review.